Good afternoon, good afternoon boys and girls, how are you today? I hope you're doing well, it's a new day, it's Monday and today I feel so excited and happy because we have a new story. So everyone, you know me very well, right? Every time we have a new story, I would be so excited to start. Before starting our story, let's read the day and date. So, it's written over here. I need your help to read it. So, the day is... Monday. And the date is... May 11, 2020. Thank you for helping. So, my lovely readers, get ready to read a new story. Get ready to learn new things. So, show me how excited you are. I want you to put your hands in the air and shout. It's a new story. Let's do it. Up your hands. I want to hear you. It's a new story. So, who wants to help me? Okay, I want someone to look at the cover page of the story and to describe what do you see. So, what do you see everyone? I'm going to give you some time and think about it. What do you see? I can see some children. And what are they doing? They're looking at their teacher and their teacher is holding a paper that's written on its art contest. Art contest. Wow. So they are in the school, I guess, right? What do you think? Are they in the school? Yes. So the first thing that we are going to do now is to read the story together. Okay, everyone? To get sure if they are in the school, what are they doing, and also let's get to know more about the story. So I want everyone to get your English book because we are going to use it. Okay, go and get it and also grab some pencils because you need to write the day and date before we start reading our story. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify the problem and steps to solve it. Problem? What does that mean when I say problem? I think in math subject we have learned how to solve problems, right? So when I say problem, what is the first word that will come to your mind? A problem is when you need to think about it to find the solution and then solve it. Well done! So a problem is something we need to think about it and find the solution and finally solve it. For example, in mathematics we have a lot of problems every day. When I say to you, for example, you are in the supermarket and you get five bars of chocolate. Each one of them will cost you two dirhams. So you need to think about it, how many dirhams you need to pay later on. This is a problem, right everyone? And today we're going to talk about this in our story. The characters of the story will face a problem and they need to solve it together. So if they, need to, if they want to solve the problem, they need to think about it first, right? And to find solutions. So here we go, everyone. Let's start reading the story together. I want you to open page 376. 376, okay? And please write the day and date. So let's look at the cover page again 
and I want you to find the title of the story. So where is the title of the story? Here. It's over here. So let's read the title together. The Art Project. Project. Everyone, we used to uh, make a lot of projects together. Do you remember? In English class, in science class, in math. And you used to work together as a team to finish your project. It was amazing. I missed those days. So the teacher or the art teacher I think is standing and showing them a piece of paper. And can you read what's written on the piece of paper? Yes. Art contest. So everyone, what does the word contest mean? Who Con can help me? Contest is like a competition where a group of people where a group of people compete each other to win a trophy or prize. Good answer. Now, let's listen to the story. Okay? Sit properly. Pay attention everyone. So, Let's start. The Art Project. Essential question. How can we protect the Earth? Read to find out about saving Earth's resources. Look! The community center is having an art contest, said Grace. She was holding a flyer. Mrs. Simon read the flyer aloud. Everyone agreed they would like to enter the art contest. Mrs. Simon said, Our classroom supply of art materials is low because it's the end of the year. I'll check with Mrs. Rice to see what she has. Mrs. Rice, the art teacher, didn't have any art materials. I won't be getting a supply until next year, she said. The whole class was disappointed. How can we enter the art contest without art materials? asked Grace. Maybe we can raise some money. We could have a bake sale, suggested Hal. I don't think there's time, Mrs. Simon said. Let's use the paper in the recycling bin, Pablo said. Pablo did not often raise his hand. He rarely spoke up. So everyone was surprised when he offered an idea. Okay, good everyone. So, how many characters do we have? Miss Simon, Miss Rice, Hal, Grace, and Pablo. So there are five or four. Five. Well done. So. They have a problem and the teacher, she's telling them about art contest and she wants them to participate. But maybe they can't. What is the problem? That they don't have any art supplies or material materials. So everyone, they want to participate in the art contest, but they don't have materials. Materials such as paint, papers, um, what else? Colored papers, colored pencils, and so on. So they are confused and they don't know what to do and how they will get these materials so they can participate in the art contest. So let's continue reading the story and see what might happen next. Turn the page. Hal said, I'm curious about your idea. I want to learn why you would use old paper. 
so we can save Earth's resources, replied Pablo. When we use recycled paper, we use natural materials and save trees. We can also use this old string and these wire hangers, added Grace. Now the class had to decide what to do with the materials. Pablo had another idea. We can fold the paper into cranes. Then we can attach the cranes to a frame to make a mobile. Mrs. Simon taught the children how to fold the paper into cranes. Then everyone helped attach the cranes to the mobile. On the day of the art contest, the paper crane mobile hung in the enormous community center room. The huge space was crowded with art projects. From far off, the class spotted their project. The crane mobile swayed gently as people walked past. From a distance, the paper cranes appeared to be softly flying. The judges checked each art project. They looked closely at the crane mobile. The paper crane mobile won the prize for the most creative use of materials. As the class proudly accepted their prize, they could not stop grinning. Grace exclaimed, we made our art project and we saved the earth at the same time. Make connections. What do the children do at school to help protect the earth? Tell about a way you can help protect earth's resources at school. So as we said so far, they have a problem. They want to participate in the art contest and they can't do it because they don't have materials. So what are they going to do? As we read in the story that one of the characters found the solution and he solved the problem. How did he solve the problem? He used paper from the recycling bin and he also saved the earth at the same time. But you using earth as resources from the recycling bin to save the earth. So everyone, the character over here, or let's say Pablo, he has an idea. He said, let's use the old paper from the recycling bin because everyone we have studied in the science before how to save the earth by recycling, reusing and reducing. Later on I'm gonna explain to you and help you to remember what does recycling mean or let me say it right now Recycling is to use the old things that you have in your house. For example, let's talk about the bottle of the water. Instead of throwing the bottle in the garbage, you can recycle it and use it as a pencil holder or something like that. Also, you can use the old plates or let me say the plastic spoons to make a game or something or you can use the old fabric to make a doll so you can use the old things to create something new and this was the idea of Pablo he said to them we can use the old papers to make our art project do you think his friends like the idea? yes okay so look over here they started to make something using the old papers what did they do cranes as you can see we call them cranes cranes and at the end of the story they won the competition they won the competition now i have some stories later on we're going to read these two pages carefully or let me say next class let's focus on this page okay everyone so let's go to our slide and read the questions together and also answer them so everyone yesterday we have learned what does 
the word earth resources mean right do you remember like everything that found in the nature and people can use it and here in the story Pablo suggested to use the old papers right so if you recycle and use the old things you can save the earth and here there are uh, some let's say points to read and these will help you to save the earth so let's read some of them for example when you turn off the lights don't keep the light on the whole time in this case you're going to reduce the use of energy also to recycle the old things and it's good also if you plant trees and there are there are also a lot of ways to save the earth for example save water don't waste it and we have learned in the science before about the importance of water okay so everyone uh, the genre of the story is fiction fiction what does the word fiction mean fiction tells us a made-up story about imaginary characters and events so it's not real it's not real story okay and what else characters take steps to solve a problem and the solution usually happens at the end of the story characters in fiction often speak to each other with their words are the dialogue so everyone let's read the key words when you say fiction Fiction tells a made-up story about not real characters and events. Also, characters take steps to solve a problem because in the story there was a problem. What is the problem or what was the problem? Is that they didn't have any art materials. Okay, and what did they do later? Pavel said that they can recycle old paper from the recycling bin. This is the solution. Solution, excellent. So the solution usually happens at the end of the story. And we have here the dialogue, and the dialogue here uh, means when the characters talk to each other. So what is the title of the story? the art project the art project good and what are these children doing they are signing up for the contest they are trying to enter the contest so what are they talking about they that they are gonna enter the art project or contest but they don't have enough materials to enter so they were talking about a solution they were trying to find a solution for their problem they want to participate in the art contest but they don't have materials so they were talking to each other to find a solution question number three what do you think happens at an art question number three what do you think happens at an art contest yeah what do you think i think that in the art contest you have to create something from your mind that's imaginary and that's very beautiful and creative and you need and you need to use a lot of materials such as paint brushes color paper okay well done so the boy is raising his hand what do you think he may want to say maybe he wanted to come up with an idea because they didn't have enough materials yes that's true He's gonna suggest a good idea, which is to use the old paper 
and to make the art project. So he brainst so he brainstormed ideas and told them that they can use the old paper from the recycling bin for the art project and they can enter or participate in the art contest. So question number one, what is the flyer for? For an art contest. And what is the problem? The class does not have art materials. Great. Number three, what is Miss Simmons' idea to solve the problem? Thank you for helping. So what is her idea? To ask the art teacher. Good. Number four, what is Hal's idea to solve the problem? A big sale to raise money. Well done. And number five, what is Pablo's idea to solve the problem. To use the paper in the recycle bin. So what do you think the class will use to make an art project? Pablo's idea. Great. So everyone, reread page 376, complete the graphic organizer. So here is the problem steps to solve the problem and then finally the solution okay so everyone what was the problem that they didn't have any art materials they don't have an art material this is the problem and what did they uh, do after that Pablo said that they would use paper from the recycle bin okay so the solution is to use the old paper from the recycle bin. Great. And also, he said that they can turn them into ca cans or... Yeah, because they want to use it for the art project. Con so they're going to create a project and participate in the art contest. contest. And here's the final task. I want you everyone to write your name, then um, read the question and choose the correct answer, okay? So let's go to this question. What is the title of the story? The art project or art contest? I want you to go back and to look at the cover page. What is the title of the story? The art project or the art contest? Okay. What do you think happens at an art contest? Judges choose the best art or students choose their drawings. What do you think? So, do you know what does the word judges mean? Yes. Yeah, what does it mean? A judge is someone who will decide which is something the best for to win. Okay, now let's continue reading the questions. What is the problem in the story? The students don't want to enter the contest or the class doesn't have art materials? Choose the correct answer. Here, we could use the paper in the recycling bin. Who suggested this idea? Was it Pablo or Hal? So you're going to choose one of them. Last question. Pablo suggests using recycled paper because the class already has it. Is it true or is it not? Okay, everyone. So thank you for listening. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye.